What's going on guys? Today we are going to remove the rear axle flip chip on the Santa Cruz Tallboy uh, and take it from the short position and modify it into the long position. A couple of reasons for this. Uh, one, this is an extra extra large frame, double XL. So it pushes my front center forward, um, which will help me with climbing, believe it or not. And uh, it'll also make things a little more stable when things get a little quicker, which for me is a big bonus. So it makes sense for me. It doesn't necessarily make sense for you, but uh, the same process will apply to lengthen or shorten it. So let's get that uh, started. So let's start things off by saying, well, what is the flip chip? And uh, essentially it's a 10 millimeter difference in uh, length of the wheelbase of the rear end of the bike, or I, I guess it would be overall as well, but here we're only really worried about the rear end of the bike. Um, so you can move it forward 10 mil or move it back 10 mil. Um, and right now it's in the forward position, so we are gonna move it back. back. But um, all it really is is a piece of hardware, a uh, brake adapter, and um, a derailleur hanger that you have to put on and uh, you can completely modify the whole feel of the bike. So what I'm gonna do is get started by pulling out the wheel and showing the other side. All right, so we're gonna remove the disc brake side and uh, it uses a two mil Allen key, which is just underneath. It's right here. I'm gonna loosen that guy off. which will allow us to, ch to flip this guy around. See how it just pops out, just like that. As you can see, and then we're gonna ro rotate it 180 degrees and put it back in. Pretty simple. Now that side is in the long position, so we will tighten that adapter back up. So now that the uh, disc side axle has been flipped around, what we're gonna do is change the brake adapter. That chart is available on the Santa Cruz website and uh, the brake adapter uh, changes by rotor size. So take a look at the chart. For me, I need to put on the type one adapter because I'm using a 180 mil rotor uh, in the long position. So I'll throw a link to that uh, down below so it makes sense, but uh, there are a few different configurations depending on the rotor size that you're gonna be using. So here is the long chain stay adapter uh, or the type one adapter that uh, the online service form says. So with, a, with the size of the rotor, we are gonna go ahead and put this in under the caliper, which should be uh, enough. So we'll take off the 20 mil post and replace it with this. All right, so we have the adapter uh, mounted <clears throat> underneath the Shimano XT brake. Uh, just remember the type one adapter has an arrow, that arrow points forward, um, uh, and that's about it. So we got that mounted with the different bolts. We had to take out uh, the stock bolts because they were a little long, so the kit includes shorter bolts. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, take a look on the website. They have all of this broken down. It's very easy to figure out. But uh, now we're gonna go ahead, take the derailleur off and put the right uh, axle on that side and then put it all back together. So now with the derailleur off, we're going to take a 6 mil hex and unscrew the hanger from the frame. Piece of cake. Just a quick comparison between the two hangers, the one that just came off on the right and the one on the left. You can see the axle that would go through on the right hand side is uh, more positioned on the right. And on the left hanger, it is more positioned on the left. Left being long, right being uh, short. So we're gonna go ahead and put the longer derailleur hanger back in and put it all back together with that six mil hex and uh, we should be good to go. All right, and just like that, everything's back together uh, and we are now in the long setting. So had to adjust the brake a little bit, not a big deal for rub. Um, may have to adjust the derailleur slightly, not anything crazy with just with that Eagle tool. Um, otherwise, everything's rolling smooth and uh, everything's good to go. So uh, I'm happy with it, and what we'll do is now, I can't wait to tell you about the differences on the trail. Um, just a quick note is that I would, if I were you, if you were gonna do this, 
Just make sure everything after your first ride is nice and tight, as things have a tendency to work a little loose. So just kind of snug everything up after the first ride and you should be good. Alrighty, later.